is very interesting is that in the <coughs> New Testament, uh, there, there are indications that there was someone to come after Jesus. Because, for example, Jesus uh, is uh, noted to have said that John the Baptist is the greatest uh, of, of everyone who has been born of a woman. So that means, uh, since Jesus is born of a woman, everybody knows that, right. John the Baptist is greater than Jesus. Mm -hmm. And John the Baptist himself is, says in the Gospels that after me will come one greater than I, uh, whose uh, his greatness is such that I'm not worthy to stoop oh. down and untie his sandals. So now, y y if you look at the equation, if John the Baptist is greater than Jesus, and the one to come is greater than John the Baptist, then that one is right. not Jesus, right? Right, right, right. 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 Because True. greater than and equal to is not the same thing. Same thing. Uh, so obviously there is one to come after John the Baptist who is greater than both John the Baptist and Jesus. According to that confession, we don't want to say, look, our prophet is greater. That's not how we go about our business. Mm -hmm. That's uh, for Allah to select his prophets right. and to uh, say that he prefers one prophet over another. But as, uh, for us believers, we recognize all of the prophets. We love them all. We follow them all in principle. Mm -hmm. We follow the prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, specifically because the revelation came specifically specifically through him. But we have indication here, uh, an indication that someone was to come after John the Baptist greater than both John the Baptist and Jesus. Thank you. You know, that argument stinks. Brother that Lee. is one of the most horrible <laughs> arguments ever offered by anyone for anything. And this is what really bothers me because Shabir is very intelligent. And when I see very intelligent people have to resort to arguments like this. I think, what does your religion do to you? What does your religion do to you? Why do you have to do this? Maybe he figures his people are so dull that he can put it over them. Yeah, I, 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 don't, know. Know. I don't know. I don't know if he really believes this stuff or not. If, if so, if so, maybe we can give him a hand real quick. Right? Maybe we could go to mm -hmm. Toronto and see him. Yeah. yeah. No, we'll, we'll yeah. give him help right now. I'm sure oh, okay. Please send do. Please right. do. He's watching. I know. All right. So, um, in Matthew chapter 11. <coughs> John is in prison and something very, I, I, I think, is, I think is a, the whole chapter is, uh, is very interesting. Mm -hmm. um, but John had already announced, and we'll look at that passage here in a moment, John had already announced at the beginning of Jesus' ministry, this is the one, this is the one, he's greater than me, he's so on, right? right? John had already announced this. But John, much like other Jews of his time, had a certain concept of the Messiah. The Messiah is going to come. He's going to conquer everyone. He's going to destroy all Israel's enemies and so on. Right. This, that's what Jesus' followers, his closest companions thought he was yes. going to do. Yes. Because that had been so ingrained into the Jewish mentality. And they're right, right? The, the Messiah is going to do that. They just had their timeline off. And of they're under Roman oppression, yeah. so they're ripe for that kind of Messiah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And so John yeah. announces that Jesus is the one. He's the mm -hmm. Messiah. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, John gets thrown in prison. He's suffering in prison. He's yeah. ultimately beheaded. Right. He's sitting in there. Who knows how? And by the way, I'm, uh, prison conditions back then were much worse than they are today. Right? And so John's sitting in here day after day after day. What is Jesus doing? Right? What is Jesus doing? <coughs> Jesus' followers even started wondering, what are you doing? What are right. you doing? You're supposed to be doing all these things. Yeah. And so what we have in Matthew chapter 11 is John actually wonders, and he sends someone, are, are you the one? Are you the one? Because I already announced you to everyone. And I'm wondering, you, am, am I waiting for someone else? Why? Because I'm sitting in prison. You're not doing anything. You're not doing what the Messiah is supposed to do. Right. Let's look at um, Jesus' response. Jesus answered and said to them, Go and report to John what you hear and see. The blind receive sight, and the lame walk, and the lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear. The dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. And blessed is he who does not take offense at me. In other words... Look at the things I'm doing. I'm obviously the one who was to come. Mm -hmm. But don't get upset if I'm not doing things the way you expect me to do them. Right. right? Blessed is he who does not take offense at me. Blessed is he who doesn't get upset that I'm not meeting your expectations because I might have other plans <laughs> in mind. Right? Right, right. And after this, Jesus starts <coughs> talking about John. And let me read at, start reading at verse 11. This is the passage Shabir was thinking of. Verse 11. Jesus says, truly I say to you, among those born of women, there has not arisen anyone greater than John the Baptist. Shabir says, aha, what do we have here? Jesus says, there's no one born of women greater than John the Baptist. So John the Baptist is greater than everyone is born of a virgin, and, I mean born of a woman, mm -hmm. and Jesus is born of a woman. Therefore, according to this passage, John is greater than Jesus. <laughs> right? So obviously, John said, since John said, in John chapter 1, that someone is coming later who's going to be greater than him. Yeah. Well, Jesus isn't greater because he's born of, born of a woman. 
And no, and no one born of a woman is greater than John, right? He didn't even finish the verse. Right. So <laughs> since someone else is coming along, right. then obviously this person is, is greater than John and Jesus. Yeah, Muhammad. And so that's got, that's got to be Muhammad. Right? Now, now I don't obvious. know why it would be Muhammad, right? I don't know why it would be Muhammad, someone who's you know, having sex with little girls and stuff. I don't know why they would be greater than John and Jesus. But watch what happens when we actually finish reading what the verses say. And what the verse says. He stops in mm -hmm. mid-verse. Yeah, yeah. So let's finish that verse, and then we'll go over to John, and look yes. what jo look at. Jo we'll go after John, chapter one. This is the Apostle John talking about John the Baptist. Two different Johns. We're yeah. going to read what John the John the Apostle says about what John said. But let's mm -hmm. let's read the actual verse. Truly, I say to you, among those born of women, there has not arisen anyone greater than John the Baptist. Yet the one who is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than. He. Hey, you and I are greater than John the Baptist. We are. According to Jesus. According, uh, yeah, so. So it could be us. Are, are we prophets? It could be us. Are we, it could be Call us. Call Shabir. Mm -hmm. Get him on the phone. Mm -hmm. And let's, well, we, yeah, yeah, you, you, can, you can continue reading the passage. But by the way, if Shabir wants to grant this passage, notice what verse 13 says. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why? If you read Jesus' parables, God sends prophet after prophet after prophet after prophet. Then the son comes. Here, Jesus even maintains that. The prophets and the law were until John. Now the kingdom of God has come. Amen. But wait a minute. No, 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 no. The prophets are still coming. According to Islam, the prophets are coming long after that uh, until Muhammad. I see. Right? And the, law is ne and the law is still in effect. Mm -hmm. Right? So think about this. Shabir doesn't even finish reading the verse he's quoting. And he, said, he definitely doesn't read two verses later, <laughs> which totally destroy Islam. He doesn't do any of that. Why not? Now, think about this. He wants to say that verse 11, no one, is, no, no one born of woman is greater than John, right? And therefore, that's Jesus too, because Jesus was born of woman. He doesn't even finish the verse. Why? Because the verse says pe people in the kingdom of God are greater. The least in the kingdom, least of, in the God kingdom of God. So what you have, you have two things. When it says born of woman, this is, and you can go to, go to anyone. You find this in the Old Testament, the book of Job several times, for instance. Yeah. It's a Hebrew idiom about people of normal birth. Well, how is that contrasted with people in the kingdom of God? Well, those people have been born again, Amen. born of the Spirit, yes. right? Yes. So they have a supernatural birth, yes. right? They're not, even though they have been born of a woman, there was a time when they were, they were born physically. Obviously, in the, sec, in the very same verse should be quoted, if he had bothered to quote the rest of the verse, mm -hmm. you see a distinction between people who have this second birth. But obviously this would include Jesus, who also has a supernatural birth, right? Jesus is born of a, born of a woman, but it's not, it's not a normal human birth, right? right? Jesus, more than anyone in history, has a supernatural birth. In fact, Jesus' origin, if you, if you go to John 1.1, 1, 1, in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, the Word was God. God enters creation through a woman in the person of Jesus of Nazareth. That's what John 1.14 uh, says. So... Is this, is this saying no one's greater than John? No human being's greater no, than John? not at all. I mean, first of all, Ridiculous. wasn't Muhammad born of a woman? So yes. if you want to say that, then, <laughs> okay, then, then the passage doesn't even fit. Right. If Shabir had bothered to finish the verse, it's distinguishing between normal human beings born in normal human ways and people who have some special supernatural birth. Jesus obviously has that, and then his followers who enter the kingdom of God mm -hmm. through him we have a supernatural verse. And he specifically says, and they're greater than John. Yes. So you have the people born in the totally natural way and people who have some kind of miraculous second birth or yes. who were not, uh, who did not, had, had more than a normal human nature to begin with. So this is a complete ridiculous use resting of this verse. Yeah, but, yeah. but there's more. There's more. Let's go to what John actually says. What does he say? When he talks about someone who is to come after him. Yes. Ready? Yes. So John chapter 1. Mm -hmm. John chapter 1, verse 24. Now, they had been sent from the Pharisees. People are sent from the Pharisees. They asked him and said to him, Why then are you baptizing if you are not the Christ, nor Elijah, nor the prophet? John answered them, saying, I baptize in water, but among you stands one whom you do not know. It is he who comes after me, the thong of whose sandals I am not worthy to untie. These things John took place in. These things took place in Bethany beyond the Jordan where John was baptizing. Notice he says, there stands one among you. Yes. There's someone here, mm -hmm. someone of this generation, mm. someone who's in Israel right now. Mm -hmm. 
The thong of whose sandals I am not worthy to untie. John. <coughs> Shabir just appealed to John as his argument. John says there's someone here I'm not worthy to untie his shoes. And he's well, preparing who? the way for him. So are we to expect that means someone 600 well, years we, we, after yeah, this? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We, we don't know who it is, but yeah. he's, he's somewhere there, right? Gotcha. He's somewhere there. Okay. Now let's keep reading. Okay. Verse 29. The next day he saw who? Muhammad? No. Uh, that's not what it says, does it? The it's next Mahmoud. day, the next day he saw Jesus God. coming and said, "Behold the lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. This yes. is he on behalf of whom I said, after me comes a man who has a higher rank than I for he existed before me." Think about what Shabir does, right? I'm going to quote Matthew chapter 11 about someone about no one being greater than John, born of a woman. And I'm going to totally ignore the rest of the verse, which tells you what that means. And I'm going to pretend that Jesus is saying, John is the greatest of any human being. <laughs> and then I'm going to point out where John says that someone is coming who's greater than he is. And I'm going to say that can't be Jesus, because Jesus, he is born of a woman. <laughs> And so John is greater than he is. And therefore, John must be talking about someone else. What happens when you actually finish Matthew 11, 11? You read the actual rest of the verse. He explains what he means. He's distinguishing pure, physical, normal human birth with something supernatural. Right? But Muslims believe actually swallow this, John. Yeah. Because they don't read the Bible. And then uh, John says someone's coming after him, and we'll just totally ignore the part where John says, oh, and by the way, it's this, Jesus. This is Jesus is, he's right here. <laughs> we'll ignore that. We'll pretend it never happened. And then we'll tell this to our, to, to our, our viewers because they are too dumb to go and look any of this up. Muslims, I just want to say, I'm not saying you're dumb. Your leaders and apologists are saying you're dumb. Right. They are, they are when, they, when they spout this nonsense to you, when they rip these things out of context, when they totally destroy the meaning, they are accusing you of being so stupid you can't even open up the text That's and read right. what they're saying. That's right. Or, I think you can do better than this. I believe you can do better than this. I, can, I believe you can do better than what Shabir Ali expects of you.